Hi everyone, Lois here, and I thought I'd bring you some recent news relating to Pokemon Go. If you like this video, please hit the like button. Be sure to subscribe to the channel and hit the bell for alerts of when I upload new content to the channel. Especially those with disabilities similar to mine. This week I have a lot to share with you and I'm back from my Wildwood vacation. Currently going on in Pokemon Go until at least August 2nd is Hisuian Discoveries, which means we now have more Hisuian Pokemon, such as Quillfish, which can be found in the wild and in 7k eggs, but also Hisuian Sneasel and Growlithe. And of course, Sunday, July 31st, which is the Ultra Unlock bonus for doing a number of raids as a result of Seattle Go Fest, Hisuian Brave Avery will be making its debut into Pokemon Go, and it will be available as a shiny. Unknown S is also available currently in raids as a shiny, and of course Panpour is now available globally, and it too is now available as a shiny. And in the wild, you'll be able to catch Zubat, Ponyta, Onyx, Hisuian Voltorb, Tangela, Eevee, Porygon, Apom, Hisuian Quillfish, Wormpool, Krikatot, Buzzle, Drifloom, Bronzor, Krogunk, Electabuzz, Magmar, Octillery, and Gibble. The majority of these Pokemon, except for the Hisuian Pokemon, such as Voltorb and Quillfish, are not available as Shinies. And of course, in level 1 raids, Jotarian, Sneasel, Rosalia, Shinx, and, and as I mentioned earlier, Unknown S, all are available as Shinies. For level 3 raids, Chansey, Togetic, Kirala, Wish Casp. And of course, the current legendary raid boss is Dialga. And as I mentioned earlier, you'll be able to hatch Hisui and Growlithe and Sneasel alongside Voltorb and Quillfish, seeing as Hisui and Growlithe and Sneasel are, are the only Pokemon during this event that will not be spawning in the wild. I mean, are not spawning in the wild. As for field research rewards, the majority of the Pokemon featured here except for one, are available as Shinies. They include Cyndaquil, Clefairy, pa Paris, Psyduck, Magnemite, Jolterian Sneasel, Remoraid, Mantine, Shinx, all the for forms of Burmy, and Oshawott. Pe Peltilly and Rollet are currently not available as Shinies as Niantic has yet to release Peltilly and Rollet as a shiny to, for us to catch. And of course, there's also a collection challenge, which can be completed in one day. And that's not all that made its debut this week in Pokemon Go. Daily Incense is now also available which of course there's also a special research story which involves using the in this new variation of the incense and unlike the normal incense the daily incense only lasts for 15 minutes and as long as you're walking Pokemon will spawn around you or near you and you can also get Pokemon that normally do not spawn in the wild this way. And this also includes the Galarian forms of Articuno, Zapdos, and Moltres. Which of course, unfortunately, all three of those have a high flea rate. And are not easy to catch. As for me, I have not encountered these three Pokemon 
as of this recording myself. In other Pokemon news, also announced for the month of August, the Community Day Pokemon we'll be getting in Pokemon Go will be Galarian Zigzagoo, which of course, if you evolve Galarian Litloon into Abstagoon, you'll learn the move Obstruct and you'll be able to get its shiny form and the special research story is called Field Notes Galarian Zigzagoo which will be available for one dollar or equal equivalent currency depending on which part of the world you are in. The event bonuses include three times catch stardust, two times catch candy for Catching Pokemon incense activated during the event will last will last for three hours. One additional special trade can be made during this event, which gives you a total of three special trades during the day. And of course, two times chance for level 31 and up trainers to receive XL candies from catching Pokemon. Lore modules will be active during the event for three hours and you'll be photobombed if you take five snapshots by the Pokemon featured on this community day in this case Galarian Zigzagoo and of course trades made during and up to five hours afterwards will require 50% less stardust and there'll also be bonuses like if you catch a lot of Pokemon and a certain Pokestop it will be replaced by Litloon instead of Zigzagoo and then after the main community day event all the way to 7 p.m. local time I mean I meant to say it's gonna be all day if you do enough raids you'll be able to encounter Galarian Zigzagoo at a certain Pokestop for a half hour. And of course, besides that, that's not the only thing that's coming out for the month of August. We're also getting Sapporo Go Fest, which of course is in Japan. On the island of Hokkaido, which of course inspired the Sinnoh region in Generations 4 and its respective remakes, and will be held in the city of Sapporo, which of course in the Pokemon games it's called Jubilife City, and you'll be able to explore the city and Nakajima Park. And of course, then after that will be the global go fest finale which will which we will we will get everything from from um, Berlin, Seattle and Sapporo in this one and it will be getting Palkia, Genesect and of course Sashian and Zemazetta coming back as raid bosses after Dialga leaves and we'll be getting Mega Obama Snow. We'll be getting an unknown Mega Raid Boss from August 10th to the 18th and followed by Mega Slowbro and then Mega Amperos. And of course Galarian Stunkfish will be available as a field as a breakthrough research encounter. And Hisuian Voltorb, Nidoran female, Joltik, Nidoran male, and Padov will be the focus of spotlight hours with, with three of the Pokemon such as both Nidoran male and female and Padov having their shiny forms. Only Hisuian Voltorb and Joltik will not as their shinies have yet to be released into the game. One more thing, 
I'm officially back to live streaming on Twitch, and I have a lot of videos coming up. Of course, I already released the vlog for my trip to Wildwood, released my Merman video, and released my review of my brand new computer by the time this video goes up. And I'll be streaming again at my usual time, Saturday afternoon, between 12 and 1 p.m. In the meantime, this is Lewis saying, Thanks for watching, everyone! You can also follow me on Instagram, Twitter, Facebook, Twitch, and TikTok. Remember, it's time for adventure!